up, beautiful people, to another episode of the Jones Family Channel. It's me, Ricky Jones Jr. And we also have your man Tatum Pumani. How you guys doing today? Huh? He doesn't have to get ready because he was born ready. Just like you know that great people, is. huh? <laughs> and we're about to do the exterior, the interior, take it for a test drive, and more than anything, give you a rating of what this Toyota Scarlet is all about. So we also have something different that we want to do as far as if you have a vehicle. Of course. So let them know if they have a vehicle. Yes, so if you guys have a vehicle that you guys would like us to review, just put your details in the comments below and we will gladly come to wherever you are and review your vehicle. What? In the Johannesburg area. We ain't yes, coming yes, wherever. Yes. Yeah, you will. Just in the yet. Johannesburg area. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We'll, we'll travel, you know, to other countries and across the seas. Yeah, but yeah. if you have a vehicle that you want us to spec out, to show yeah. what it's all about, let us know and we will get to you. All right? No, so without further ado, let's get to this Toyota Scarlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, show yeah. me what it's all about. All right, let's get Yo. into it. All right, my brother. So you already told me I did something wrong. And I bet I'd rather hear from you than them. All right, So cool. how do you pronounce the name of this vehicle? It's the Scarlet. So Scarlet. Yes, this is the the 2023 Toyota Starlet okay. XR edition. Ah. This particular spec is our automatic spec. Okay. And being an XR, ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to all know that this is the top of the range. Me and Mr. Jones here only specialize with uh -oh. the best of the best. Come on now. So <laughs> let me take you through the vehicle and yes. show you what comes on this particular spec. Let's get so, it. So in the front here, as you can see, you got your fog lamps full led fog lamps on nice. this particular model and this being the xr model we've got led daytime running lights as standard nice you get full led headlamps as well on this car nice they're manually adjustable meaning that um, you can adjust the, the the level of the actual beam oh wow in terms of where it shines on really the yeah so wow. you can do that as well how many levels do you have do you know uh, you have three three, three levels, levels. Yeah. that's so what's up. zero one two three nice yeah, so actually that works out to four but yeah that's, that's all right it's all right zero then, counts yeah <laughs> so standard on the car you get 16 inch alloy rims nice. um, on the entry level spec you get a 15 inch hubcap so okay. in the middle range and this being the range topper you get yep. the same size 16 inch rim i like it and then coming to the side here obviously you got your indicators on your mirrors nice and being the range topper these are electrically operated side Ooh. mirrors they are also retractable so they are electronically retractable we'll okay. demonstrate how that works shortly okay and another feature that comes only on the xr is the chrome door handles ah so you look here, we've got a button here as well because this comes with keyless entry and okay. you can lock and unlock the vehicle from here what yeah so this is only exclusive to the xr yes sir so coming along to the back here yep We've got this chrome, if you want to call it, rear spoiler. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's fitted only to the XR model. I like it. The reason it. why it's fitted to the XR model only is because this is the only model within the range that comes with reverse camera. So this ah, is where the reverse camera is essentially housed. That's like an indicator yeah, that you have a reverse <laughs> camera. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, obviously you've got your rear PDC as well on the vehicle. Yep. And as I mentioned to you earlier, it works in conjunction with the reverse camera that is fitted over mm. here. And to obviously open the boot, yes, sir. grab the release here. All right, and so it's not automatic. You do have to push a button. Yeah, you have to push a button okay. and open the boot. No uh, problem. And yeah, I guess now it's time for us to do the body test. Uh-oh. You know what time it is. Uh-oh. For those of you trying to move bodies. Oh, snap. Let's see how successful this car will help you with huh. that. Or if uh. it's luggage. Uh, yes. I would say Tato is <laughs> probably the equivalent to, like you know, a, two carry-on bags. Yeah. And maybe, a, you uh. know, a book bag. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't think this one is. And there's cozy. a cover. Yeah. <laughs> there's a cover. Let's see. Oh, he's in there. How you feeling there? I'm feeling okay. Um, just All a right, bit cramped okay. though. He's in there. I, I think I think he's been there long enough. Let's let him out, y'all. Let's let him out. <laughs> All right. But there yeah, is. big enough to fit the tattoo in it, <laughs> but hard to get in and out. I uh oh. Won't lie. But yeah. <laughs> That's the boot space for you. Yes. It's also got a 60-40 split. Nice. So meaning you can drop the seats to accommodate bigger items ah. that you might want to carry with you. Wait, so you said something. So mm -hmm. this right here is it's, a 60-40 split. Yeah. This, so 60% uh, or 40% is yeah. up to you. Yeah. So, so you can do one at a time or yes. you have to do both? Yeah, you can do one at a time. So essentially what I mean when I say 60-40 yeah, is yeah, yeah. if you release here, this is your 60 portion. Oh, nice. Uh, and then your 40s on the side. Yeah. That's dope. <laughs> oh, uh, that's a seatbelt. That's all right. Yeah, seatbelt just got Somebody had a uh, safety going on, so you know. <laughs> but that's what you show. That's what you see. Uh, if you have the seatbelt on, just move it to the left and boom, shakalaka. Yeah. You have the space all there. So boom, you truly extend 
what you have going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You might be able to fit a Christmas tree in there. Yeah, most likely. Not the the biggest one. Not the biggest one. Not the biggest one. Yeah, but you'll be able to get one in definitely. No doubt about that. Look at that. All right. 60 Florida split. So before we get into the interior, we have to make sure we talk about this here. Uh, what's under the bonnet, All as right. y'all call it. So yeah. talk to me, my brother. So this is a four cylinder engine. Okay. It's inline four. It's a 1.5 liter engine. Okay. Um, it gives you exactly 77 kilowatts as well as 138 Newton meters of torque. Nice. Um, for you tech um, savvy guys or you technical guys out there who want to know those figures, mm -hmm. that just equates to it being powered enough to give you enough beans just to maintain um, enough, you know, safety speed on the highway. There it is. It's not powerful enough to... You're not going to race a Porsche. Yeah, you're not going to race a Porsche. There it is. But it's enough to, you know, to keep up with um, cars that are in the fast lane. You'll easily do 120, 140 kilometers an hour. Nice. With this particular powered engine. Nice. So so yeah, it's built to give you just enough power, but not necessarily, um, you know, um, affect the efficiency of the vehicle. Because at the same time, it is built to be efficient. For That's the what car. I was thinking. So, yeah. so it's good on gas. That's yeah, good. On right gas. at the end of the Very day, this gas. is good on gas. Good and on so gas. you'll be excited to get to your destination, but then also have some uh, patrol, yeah. petrol yeah. in the uh, tank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm learning. I'm yeah, learning the sure, lingo. For sure, for sure. Oh, so I yeah, that's it. definitely a nice, it's a nice engine. I yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. well powered for its size. Yeah. It's not too crazy. Right. Um, but like even, the gives, the yeah, even the battery. The battery is nice, small nice and compact. And, small. and it all speaks to cost, right? So yep. the reason why these things are not huge yes. is so that at the end of the day, the person who buys it, when it's time to change your battery at the end of the day, you're not going to spend an arm and a leg on a new battery. You can see how compact this battery is. Yeah. So you don't have to go crazy on things like batteries, yep. your tires, for yep. example. General maintenance on it is low. So that's essentially what this car was designed to do. Nah. Not to be too aggressive on your pocket. That's so nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, Thanks yeah. to the Starlet. No, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check this interior. No, for sure. All right, let's see what this uh, space feels like. No, you know, sure. I'll let you sit in the front. All right. Let me see. Okay. I would say it's spacious. Yeah, quite lenient. And uh, you're in your driver's position. Yes, this is my standard driving position. Uh, I'm actually highly surprised with how much space I actually have. Like, I'm honestly surprised. I can actually stretch my legs out. I'm not like right up on you or anything like that as far as the back of the seat. Yeah. Like, this is nice. It's quite comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, um, look, for me personally, the main standout thing for this car is yep. two-tone. Oh, yes. I generally like this navy blue and black effect. Facts. Just gives this car like another layer of, um, I wouldn't call it luxury, but like this aesthetic appeal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like if they just went black, it was just going to make the car feel dull. Correct. So it definitely livens up the interior of the car. No, so know? true. So I'm also feeling that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. And I see back here we have the vents. Yes. We have two of these uh, chargers. Two type C um, charging ports there yep. as well. Yeah. You've got your isofix points fitted into the car already. So if ah. you want to carry baby seats, you can do that with ease. Nice. Um, you know, that's you, what you parents got your think about. there. So yes. that's for additional storage. Okay. And then again, you've got um, cup holders at the back there. So if you do need to carry, you know, a bottle of water with your yep. trip, you can easily store that there. Facts, yeah. facts. Now this back seat is nice. Yeah. And even had a cover back there, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So you don't have to see what's in the boot. Yeah, yeah. You can have that uh, <laughs> nice and cover. You know, see, I'm learning lingo. <laughs> no, You're laughing good. at me, but I'm learning all at the same time. <laughs> all right, let me come up there so you can show me what's going on in the front. No, for sure. Come through. All right, my brother. So tell me about this uh, front seat. Expansion. All right, all right, cool. So experience. The front seat, um, as you can see, nice and stylish. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite features is this 10-inch monitor. Yeah. Okay. It's very, very clear in terms of the resolution. Uh -huh. um, as we look, I didn't mention it, but it does come standard with Android Auto as well as Apple CarPlay. Ooh. I use an Android device, so I did plug it in. So as you can see, this is the Android Auto. This is essentially how that interface would look. Okay. Gives you access to your Google Maps, so yes. I can use my Google Maps. I listen to Spotify personally. So Okay. I've got full access to my Spotify nice. as well. I can control that through here. Let me see what you're listening to. I, I listen to a lot. Uh oh, of there it is, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> And then yeah, uh, like I mentioned, there's your Google Maps. Yes. So a lot of clients come in and ask if these vehicles do have navigation systems fitted to them. Mm. So what manufacturers are doing now is to spend less money on developing their own systems. Yes. They've in, they've basically fitted their cars with the Android Auto yep. and Apple CarPlay functionality. Yeah. So that whatever interface you use on your phone, yes, can easily be transferred onto the screen here. Which is better Which because is better. everybody uses their own thing. Exactly. Because uh, even in the states, like yeah. you are, we use Google Maps, we use Apple Maps. 
but we also use an app called Waze. Yes, same, same thing. Okay, yeah, nice. So even this one, we've got Waze here as well. Okay. Um, I just personally prefer Google Maps. I it's do just too. a preference thing. Yeah. But um, it's also compatible to Waze. Um, nice. I've seen people who use Waze. Yeah. Um, another cool thing is it's got the split screen function. Ooh. So, you know, you can have your Spotify still open the yeah. side. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's good because at the same time, you can do two things at once. At once, yes. And it speaks to the size of the screen. Yes. Yeah, so you can also toggle through the various menus. Mm -hmm. So that's the nice thing about it. You can literally control Spotify as it would appear on your phone ah. on, the, uh, on the screen here. Yeah? Okay. Um, so yeah, same thing with your Google Maps. You can just literally type in a location. Wow. And then, for example, do that, and then it will just populate Take you everything. To where you need there. to go. Yeah. So another nice thing that I like about this car, this being the range top, it's the XR. Yes. We've got this leather on the steering wheel. Uh, if you've driven any other of the starlets, you'll notice that they don't have the leather like uh, this one. What's usually there? Um, like it's like a plastic type, okay. um, type of material. It doesn't feel like this. Um, okay. You can feel more. There's more girth to the steering wheel. Nice. If I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, another thing is you've got your steering wheel control functions here. Yeah. This is to toggle through your tracks. So when you have your Spotify play, you can change the song here. Nice. You can adjust the volume here. Nice. You can go through the various modes by pressing this button. Yes. You can mute it all together here. Okay. And because my phone is connected through Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, if someone yep. calls me, I can answer here. I can hang up here. Ah. And to access my phone's voice control system, yep. I just press this button here and I can okay. essentially toggle through my various modes of the phone yeah, through yeah. this button here wow. and this being the range topper mm -hmm. it's got cruise control ah, so okay. all of these buttons here are essentially for your cruise control functions okay and yeah another thing to tell you about the interior about the car comes standard with six um speakers mm. um, so it does have a fairly decent sound system nice nice you've got your climate control over here yep um, this is obviously your gear lever and being an automatic, you know, it's a straightforward gear lever. Four. That's you it. Got your handbrake here. Yep. You've got an armrest which slides as well. Nice. So that's a nice thing with yep. some storage down here as there well. There it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got your two cup holders over here. True. Additional storage here in the front. True. USB port. Yep. 12 volt socket on the left here. There it is. You've got your cubby hole there on the left with more storage space in yep. there. Yep. The yep. It's like a locker. But you know. You know, quick. More storage there. You've there got storage is. on the side as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And additional cup holders for you on the side in the door as well. Facts. All windows in this car are automatic. Mm. And you can obviously control your side mirrors electronically over here on the side. Nice. You've got your vehicle stability control button over here. Okay. This button's for your PDC. Mm. And remember when I told you about the adjusting the headlamps? Yes. Yes, to control that, you can do it through here. And uh, turns out I gave you all incorrect information. There's okay. actually five levels. Five there. levels. Yeah, all five as levels. well. So, yeah, that's the car in a nutshell. Yep. Um, I think, oh, yeah, last thing to mention. It's got that um, electrically operated rear view mirror. Yes. So, again, for you guys who are not aware of how it actually works, if you're driving at, let's say, night, for example, and someone has got their bright lights on and they're mm. shining directly into this light, it will mm -hmm. turn out the light automatically mm. so that it doesn't shine directly into your eyes nice and yeah that's the car that's a nice a feature yep. so, yeah yeah now i like that something that i even noticed is that on the door panels there's like this like sparkle sparkle yes shimmer shimmer yes. wham wham yeah. like this is <laughs> nice I mean, we've got to have a little bit Spacey. of bling, you know? Right, right, you know, right, right, right. Bling. It's just to liven up the interior because at the end of the day, they did use, like I said, if they did go all black in here, yep. it was just going to make it very dull. Yeah. Um, so by doing stuff like that, yeah, adding yeah. that glitter there, it's just to, you know, liven up the cabin so that at least, you know, you don't feel like you're just in a dark hole. No, I like that. Yeah, yeah I like yeah, that. Yeah. So true. I definitely don't feel that way. No, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing that I feel that you even were just speaking to is that the seats, like yeah. it, like it, it hugs you. Yeah, they're like very Kind of like bucket seat type vibes. They're hugging. Yeah, yeah. Not just hugging. Um, they like, you know, they support every part of the back. Ah. Uh, because I mean, it supports you on the side here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you actually lean back, you can feel that you know majority Ooh. of your back actually has some padding to it. That is true. So it's a very comfortable seat to actually sit. Nah, in. that's so true. All we need is a button that massages. Yeah. Then, oh, oh! I might be asleep <laughs> while I'm driving or while I'm riding. Of course, of course, of course. Speaking of, I think it's time to take this bad boy for a drive. Let's do that. What y'all think so far? Let us know in the comment section below how you like the Starlet. Yes. Okay, compared to the other Toyotas we've uh, done reviews views on let us know in the comment section nonetheless let's go for a drive let's do it. Let's go. all right my brother let's go ahead and get this bad boy a drive out here on these streets yes sir i do like the visibility that you have in the back it's like they're very 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 nice 
Let me lower the uh, steering wheel. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's a lever at the bottom. Yeah, it's a lever at the bottom. It's manual. Boom. Still had a plastic on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice. It's funny because it's like, I feel like I need to duck to really? look out the front a little bit. Maybe I need to see the lower maybe, seat. Yeah, maybe need to lower So it's like a pump. Because oh, okay. the person who actually uses this car is a lady, so uh, you know, I can understand why it's okay. so high. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I definitely had to lower it. But I mean, other than that, like, this is comfortable. <laughs> this is nice. Okay, so it is manual as far as the seats are concerned. Yes, yes, yes. So the, um, on the spec, um, even yep. if you go high spec, um, it's manually operated seats. Okay. They do that, obviously, just to keep the price point at a certain level. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's no big deal. It's not like it's tough or difficult true. to do what you're trying to do. True, true, true. It's just good to, uh, you know, acquire the information. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is nice. Smooth. Yes. It's a nice starter pack. Um, I would say the, the this car's position more for someone who's been working for some time okay so like for example remember the vert how we yes. we highlighted the fact that it's for someone who's starting out correct um if you now a little bit more established in your career yes. looking for something a little bit more refined and of it okay this is the next car in the toyota lineup this so, is the one yeah it's it, it's still catered like not catered but it's still there for the um i don't want to say the younger market but yes. um, if you're looking to get a fairly reasonably sized car yes um at an affordable price point yeah. this is the car to go for mm -hmm. um another thing to actually mention is a couple of months back um this car actually won an award for being the most value for money in its segment oh wow so yeah you get the most value for money essentially when you buy this car so okay. be sure to come through tomorrow's toyota thanks make sure you come see tato tato and i'm the guy to put you in your next new car that's it yeah. whether it's a scarlet or four runner <laughs> uh, what else a high lux high lux we've got prados we've got land cruiser 300s yeah. whatever it is if that's you've got a toyota it. badge on it I got you covered. Got you covered. The man <laughs> with the plan that always stays ready. Oh, oh this is nice. Oh, I even noticed how it changed. The, yep. Yes. The, so, um, GPS changed. Yes. Yeah, so what I didn't mention to you guys is that the vehicle actually has automatic like lights. So how that works is, for example, like we drove under Dog Bridge. Yep. It will automatically switch on the lights. That's and, nice. Yeah, hence the change that yep. you saw there. And the um. What you call it? What is this called? Infotainment yes, screen. Yes. It went dark. Yes. And yes. so that was nice. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's so a nice get up. Yes. It's uh, responsive. No, very responsive. This 1.5 engine is fairly nice in the sense that, like, for the size of the car, the body weight, um, it carries very nicely. Yeah. And that's why, even though you know you've only got 77 kilowatts, when you press it, it does a good job at launching you forward. Very true. Yeah. Um, another thing I didn't actually mention is yeah. So right now we're actually using our Google Maps to get to the hill that we usually do the hill test on. Yeah. Um, it's a nice feature because it actually shows you um, where you need to go in terms of mm. turning left or right yep. on the small screen that that's true. located in the speedo there. That is true. Right now you won't see it because it knows we're going to be staying straight for a long time. Yep. So it's now giving you a driver's stance in uh, terms of your fuel economy. Okay. So if you look at that arrow there, yep. if you can sort of um, control your foot in such a way that you stay in that point okay you in like an eco zone ah. so you can think of it like a game okay. um, the car's trying to help you be as Same. efficient as possible that's nice it, yeah. that's nice so that's what that is there for okay yeah noted <laughs> all right so i have to try out this uh this gas let's see if it has some speed this makes noise. Yeah, <laughs> it makes noise. I feel like I can run faster than it accelerate. <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah, no, it's that okay. means it's good on gas. Yeah, it's definitely good right? on gas. If it's not responsive on the acceleration, it's good on gas. It's good on gas. Look, it's uh, it's like um, we're gonna get off uh, mm -hmm. Nick here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I forgot that the GPS is on. It's doing it. But here's the thing. Um. All right. So let's get this here. Watch out, lady! <laughs> oh. Oof. Oof. No. Nah, it doesn't have the beans. Oh. Uh. But we'll go. Woo! Uh. I'm all the way to the floor. Seriously. I'm all the way to the floor. <laughs> and it's like crawling. It's crawling. It's crawling, but I made it. Oh, we made it. Uh, we, oh, got there. No. we got there. We got there. We got there. Oh no, we gotta have a talk. We gotta talk about <laughs> this this hill experience, man. Let's 
Let's dissect what actually took place. All right, my brother. So after doing the heel, um, it's it's not it's not that type of heel. No, it's not. It's not. But we made it to the top. <laughs> we did make it to the top. However, that's not what this is for. Nah, look, it's not for pushing it to its max like yeah. that. Yeah, okay. it will get you up the hill. Yeah. But you're not gonna you're not gonna just like fly up but you you're yeah. gonna you're gonna have to put in some work. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was all the way down. Like I said, my foot was down yeah, yeah. all the way down to the floor and um it felt like, you know, was I was stretching it. Yeah, yeah. It felt like Ricky, why are you doing this? That's, that's not what I'm here for. <laughs> I'm gonna get you there, calm down. True. But if we're being fair, yeah. that heel is not your average heel. No, no, it's a steep heel. Yeah, it's not an average heel. That is true. So considering Look, it did get up the hill. Facts. We did it. We did lose a lot of speed, a lot okay. of momentum. That is but, true. Um, it, it, it didn't. At no point did you feel like it won't get up the no, hill. No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. That is true too. Yeah. That yeah. is true too. Yeah. Good note to have. Yeah. All right, man. I think. I think. I think we're good, man. Nah, we could. We can definitely hit back. All right, let's take it to the house. <laughs> All right, great people. So after the test drive, we made it back to Melrose Toyota. And speaking of, just to give a, you know, thought to how I feel like the Toyota Starlet went, I would give it a rating of 7.5. All right. I think 7.5 is efficient, largely because, you know, it didn't have that get up and go <laughs> For sure. as necessary. The boot space wasn't the largest. You were yeah. kind of tight. Yeah. But at the same time, it did have some nice features, right? For some sure. nice creature comforts that you could enjoy the vehicle if it was a vehicle for you. No, for sure. And so, you know, that's my thought, but you can take it away. Um, look, I think it's a great car overall. I think if you're looking for a slightly bigger car than a Vitz and a car that will ultimately save you money in the long run, mm -hmm. this is the car to go for. As I mentioned to you in the video, it is the best value for money. Mm -hmm. So if you are looking for the best value for money, this is definitely the car for you. There it is. Yeah. There it is. And when you know, you know. Speaking <laughs> of, when they come, where should they go to find you? Of Who course. do we give thanks to? and finish it off like that. All right, cool. So you know where to find me. This is Melrose Toyota. Um, wow. As soon as you get through the front door, say you're looking for Tato. And I'd like to give a big thank you and shout out to Melrose Toyota for availing another vehicle for us to review. Yep. Let us know in the comments below what car you'd like to see next. And if you have a car that you would like for us to come and review, just hit us up in the comments and we'll be sure, sure to give you a DM and we'll take it from there. But yeah, look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Bam! Just like that, great people. We keeping the content flowing and going. Yeah. So make sure y'all keep those likes flowing and going as well. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so thus far. I don't know what you're waiting on. It costs you nothing. It makes you smile. So you might as well smile and spend nothing to do with it. All right, great people. So we love you all until the next video. Peace. Peace. <laughs> any M any power, M. Yeah, any M powered BMW. Uh, that you would like for us to review, there it is. Please <laughs> let me be the guy. We them guys. Yeah, we are the guys. guys. You can drive it. Yeah. We don't oh. even have to test drive it. They, they well, said, no, no, I'm gonna be like, hey, listen, I will drive your car. There it is. Yeah. And but I treat it like mine. Yeah, of course. There it is.